game back of the division-leading Miami Dolphins and New York Jets. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Eyeline. First down. And Flutie to throw for the first time today. Has time. Sideline pass complete. Tight end Lonnie Johnson. And Johnson out of bounds across the 45 to about the 44-yard line. Two balls into the wind. Two tight ends onto the field for the Bills. First down from the 43. They'll keep it on the ground. Thurman Thomas running room right side across the 35 to about the 34-yard line. Pickup of about nine on the play. Now you can see what the Bills were talking about. Wade Phillips even, he told us that 80 receiving. Second and one. Moody out here to the near side. Sam Gash, 25, 20, out of bounds at about the 18-yard line. Boy, this is, I think, offense. 31-yard field goal is up and good. The Bills take the opening kickoff and drive to three points. Sam Gash licking his chops at uh, maybe what may still be to come. This is for 204 yards the last two games. The pitch for Edwards, right side, he isn't going to get anywhere. Chasing him down is number 52, John Holosek. And for our first NFL to... Here's Jim Kelly on the sideline. He's trying to made a name for himself here. Doug Flutie just equaled my rushing totals <laughs> for my career on one run right there. Third and four. Flutie from the shotgun. Pulls it down, going to run again. First down yardage and more. And now flips to the side. Thurman Thomas out of bounds at the 45-yard line. I'm not going to say anything. I mean... That's, that's Doug Flutie. I'm not like that amazed by it. The immediate call from the official on the sideline was that it was a lateral. That it was a lateral. And again, New England, you can't try to sack this quarterback. Look, look at this. Up the field, look at the lanes that he has to step up into. You've got to show discipline as a defender when you're playing Doug Flutie. And that absolutely was thrown behind him. And Thurman Thomas, what would make a guy be ready for the football when you're telling I'd come around the field that I knew I was going to play a bad game. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> Five wide receivers on third and 15. Flutie pulls it down, running room. 45, 50, 45, first down, and slides down at about the 37-yard line. 23-yard pickup and another Buffalo first down. Now, if you're on the New England sideline, there's a pattern developing here. That, when you keep running... Three wide receivers into the game. Thurman Thomas in the backfield. Quick drop, Flutie. Throws complete. Andre Reed, 20, 15, 10. Out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. It'll be first and goal for the Bills. Well, that's a good job of, by the Buffalo Bills offensive coaches. They get in the... Third and goal from the two when we come back to Buffalo. Easing. Look in the first quarter, this is a 20-yarder. With the wind at his back, this may end up in Albany. Two field goals. The Bills lead at 6-0. 14-20 to play here in the first half. But a lot of guys talk about him not as good as he used to be. Look at that. Holding the offensive lineman up in Bruce Armstrong. Taking away the running hole and then making the play. Into Thurwin has now replaced Zephyrus Moss at right tackle. Third and two. Shovel pass. Loose. Incomplete. Terry into the win. He was killing him in warm-ups today before the end of the win. This one is no good. He didn't kill it. No, he didn't. Patriot drive comes up short. Nine thirty-three remaining to be played here in the first half. Wade Phillips says, all right. Recover these things many times. And what's it? He just dives right on it. You know, good play, averting disaster. Good job of and Bledsoe out of the shotgun. Time over the middle. Totes, first down and more. Escapes the tackler, 40, 30. And dragged down inside the 25-yard line by Donovan Greer. Well, this is what you got to do. In situations, the game, it's going along at a slow pace. One, 
to it should be gone but he hangs in there and then just wow. oh boy and he takes a big hit from Gabe Northern but because of his side. nine yards out this is a 38 yard attempt it's straight enough and just oh, barely made it over the goal post oh it hit a it hit the wall there about that five yards from the goal line. A potential 45-yard field goal. The wind knocked down, but the Patriots are on the board. This kick is way short. At the 21, it's fumbled by Lonnie Johnson. Loose football. Patriots say they have it. And when we unpile the pile by Tuesday, First down New England. Well, when you're playing games like this, we were just talking a minute ago, it's a slow paced game, maybe a little ugly. The wind holds the ball up. Lonnie Johnson's going to get it, takes his eyes off of it at the last second, and then good, good hustled by Marty Moore, number 58, makes the hit and makes Lonnie Johnson lose con uh, possession of the football. Bills had lost very well. You watch Bruce Smith finally sheds the blocker. Armstrong makes the hit. But Drew Bledsoe, this is something he's got to do today. Don't take unnecessary sacks. Keep things where you can still control them. Third and 11, you still have a chance. Patriots have turned that time of possession story around. Bledsoe over the middle. Incomplete. Robert Edwards had it and dropped it. He didn't have first down yardage, but it does back. Vinatieri up a little more than he would have. Yard, a 39-yard attempt, excuse me. He missed a 39-yarder, made a 38-yarder. That's no good. Vinatieri barely made one his last time out. This one veers just wide of the goalpost. Clock. Flutie complete. Andre Reed. And Reed didn't make it to the sideline. Clock continues to move. 12 yard pickup and a first down. And now on third down. Flutie throws near side. Complete. Reamers not down the sideline. Out of bounds. With one second showing on the clock. Boy, that's that that is something in New England. Yard attempt. As time expires, the kick is up and it is no good. Christie pulled it to the left. Pete Carroll says, we bit the bullet. Man, he's saying, boy, we avoided something. And of course, on the other side, Wade Phillips, he's seen some field goals be missed. Opportunities blown by both teams. But again, tough conditions. And I think tremendously tough power, showing some patience. I'm curious to see if the offensive coordinator, Ernie Zampezi, the coaching staff of the Patriots, can continue to show that patience run the football and just wait for that big play instead of trying to make it themselves. Scoring has been a problem for the New England Patriots. And like a player, you got to tough it out on days like today, says Phil from his warm spot in the booth. They'll start it off on the ground with Robert Edwards, and Edwards brought down at about the 25-yard line. The thing that Armin said, that was sure he told the defense, look, I'm going to give them the win, go out there, stop them. Ted Washington may have got have not left. Second and eight. Straight ahead, Thurman Thomas burst through the line of scrimmage for first down yardage. Lawyer was such a good job. Watch it up front. Henry Thomas takes his side. Dusty Ziegler, good block, and Thurman Thomas just explodes up in there, and that's what you see from him. Because he's only going to kick. Probably will not return today. Give us the Thurman Thomas. Ducks outside, back inside, midfield, and to about the 47-yard line before Lawyer Malloy brings him down. Well, if you notice, Sam Gash is not in the backfield because Thurman the prize with a quick play upside, up inside. Flutie keeps it, left side, throws, complete at the 30-yard line to Jay Reimersma. That's enough for a Buffalo first down. Well, first down from the 29. Smith, stutter steps through the line, over the 20, down across the 15-yard line to about the 14. Well. Antoine Smith comes in the game. What's going to happen? Sam Gash is going to come in the game. He's the lead blocker. A different type of runner. Sam Gash. Bills averaging six yards a carry on the ground. Flutie 
to the near side. Throws short of the end zone and intercepted by number 32, Willie Clay. Flutie had his man open in the end zone and underthrew him. Well, what happens is it was a great idea by Doug Flutie. Everything was perfect. It's just that he put himself physically in such a tough angle to throw the football, he couldn't get it done. Willie Clay, his second interception of the season, and Flutie and the Bills come up short on this drive. Bledsoe goes down at the 15. Ted Washington leading the charge. Well, that was just a avalanche. It just broke down the whole right side of the Patriots offense. Just gets pushed by Gabe Northern, and Ted Washington just comes a flying, and Phil Hansen at the bottom. Of the First time the Bills have started a drive in New England territory today. That's Antoine Smith. Not much. Maybe a yard. And Eric Moulds. Look at that ball. You can see it move to the inside of the field. Good adjustment by Eric. On second and eight. Quick drop, quick slant complete to number 80, Moulds again. And that's enough for a first down. They make the good catches. Thurman Thomas. Dances away from a couple of would-be tacklers inside the 20 to about the 17 or 18 yard line. Well, I was sitting there listening at that, that time. Did you hear Doug Flutie? He goes, check that. <laughs> I guess you can get a, somebody we know, but check that. Change the play again. He actually did it. Look how he shows the patience. He's waiting, he's waiting. Oh, let me take it inside, and that is a good job. And now we get a look at the newest bugaboo in the National Football League, third and short. Yeah. Third down and a yard for the Bills. Gash and Antoine Smith in the background. Backfield. Flutie going to throw. All kinds of time, all kinds of room, right side. First down yardage and slides down just inside the 10 for a first down Buffalo. Touching the passer. Again today, they're having trouble. First and goal from the nine. Flutie going to throw for it. Over the middle, touchdown. Jay Reimersma, his fifth touchdown catch of the season. And the Bills get the first touchdown of the day. Well, you always hear, and I hear it a lot too, does Doug Flutie have enough arm? Well, you just take a look into the win. You tell me. In the pocket, over the middle, just throws it right through the wind, right into the chest of Jay Reimersma. You can't do anything but catch a football when it hits you in the chest. Extra point is good. Doug Flutie, been around a long time, eight years in the CFL, throws a touchdown pass, still looks like he's in Boston College. defense you can go out there and take a chance to make a play and comes bouncing on that back foot before he lets fire Bledsoe throws Ben Coates got it first down yardage as he's hit just shy of the 30 yard line well that's some matchup you got there Ben Colts Henry Jones I still think Henry Jones is one of the best safeties in the National Football League strong safety but he talked about playing Ben Coates. When you got to cover this guy one on one, a couple things you got to do. You can't get real close to him because he's so big, he'll swat you away. And, you know, the best way to describe Ben Coates, he's. Bledsoe throws this side wide open. Simmons. And Simmons inside the five. Touchdown. Boy, how is that for overcoming adversity? I mean, the play call, the execution, everything. You think you got a touchdown? No, it's a penalty. Then you come right back. You protect the quarterback and Drew Bledsoe. What a throw to Tony Simmons. And then... Fake to Smith. Flutie over the middle. Has his man complete 45-yard line, Andre Reed. Good play calling by the Buffalo Bills. Momentum probably was let go for not the right reasons. Thurman Thomas, big haul up the middle. 40, inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. 13 yards and a Bills first down. I don't know if it's possible, but Thurman Thomas, 
He looks quicker and faster to me now than he did in his heyday, but inside, Dusty Ziegler does a good job. Ruben Brown, Joe Panos all doing a good job dominating the line of scrimmage inside. Thurman Thomas, eight carries, 71 yards today. One coming to the game is trying to provide a lift for his football. Two backs, two wide receivers, and it was tough for a quarterback to move around and make plays. Within four to seven yards, the Bills are three for three on third down conversion. Flutie throws this side, complete to Reed. That's a seven yard pickup, and that's very close to a first down. Wow, look at that running game. I mean, that's that's the way you want it to be done. 75 by Thurman, 69 for Antoine Smith. That's good for anybody as an offensive unit. But then you throw your quarterback in there getting over 40 yards. It's Flutie throws intercepted in the end zone. Lawyer Malloy. His fifth interception of the season, make it his sixth. Boy, you're talking about coming up big today. These Patriots four times, two interceptions in the end zone. Tway thrown across his body. Not a good decision, but if you're a New England Patriot, you're happy about the decision he just made. Down and is tackled and back in the backfield by Bruce Smith. Well, it seems like every time Drew Bledsoe, if he has to hold the football just a little longer than normal, as he goes back, if you, once he makes his step, throw the ball, but once he pulls it down, look out, because here comes Bruce Smith. And the one reason why he has so many sacks, he's relentless. Bruce Smith. Second and 18. Bledsoe, incomplete. And if I don't get it, I will sell the team. Back to you. Thanks, Armin. Once again, Bledsoe dragged down, and once again, Bruce Smith. Well, it's like a repeat. Again, when the quarterback holds the ball in this stadium for an extra amount of time, you, you're just you're asking for trouble. Nobody open. Bruce Smith just keeps hustling. Three guys that time were trying to block him. He was hit at the line of scrimmage. He third one and Bruce Armstrong all took a shot at him, but Bruce Smith still gets to the quarterback. He's going to go for it. They could try to draw him off sides. That's one thought. You like this call? Yes, I do. I, you know what they're going to do? They're not going to take the chance to miss a long field goal and give New England great field position. Try to win the football game. Flutie going to throw for it. Throws this side. Incomplete. Intended for Andre Reed. I like to call, try to win the football game, and if you're going to try to win it, go to your strength. Doug Flutie on a quick pass to the outside to Andre Reed against a rookie to Bucky Jones, number 34. Flutie, perfect throw to Bucky Jones, drives through it. Good coverage. Boy, that is a good job by a rookie. Far side, Ben Coates. He eludes a tackler. No, dragged down at about. Well, he's still up. But comes to a stop at about the 35. The Patriots going into the win. Bledsoe throws. Complete terrific catch by Sean Jefferson. Across the 45 at about the 42-yard line of the Buffalo Bills. Don't. The face of the Patriots. 30 seconds ago, it was dead calm. It's really going to depend, I think, if they have to kick a field goal, what the conditions are at that exact moment. Back to you. All right, Armin. See him shaking back and forth. Look at that. Third and 10. Far side, incomplete penalty marker flies, and this will be a defensive interference call against the Buffalo Bills. Ben Coates was so busy protesting the call, he didn't see the penalty coming but from he's, behind. But he's him. protesting to the, the wrong guy. See, the guy behind him, the, he's the one that watches the tight end. He saw it. 
win. They do, Greg, and this is a good job by Drew Bledsoe. He's trying to throw it to the back shoulder of Sean Jefferson. He saw the trouble in front of him. Sean Jefferson didn't see it. Bledsoe time over the middle, incomplete. Manny Martin with the play. It would be a 50 yard field goal 51 they're not going to go for it no huddle they don't want Buffalo's defense have time to adjust fourth and ten Bledsoe throws far side complete and that appeared no incomplete ruled incomplete the ball goes over to the Bills Jefferson had first down yardage Look at this, a good play. Oh, perfect throw, just doesn't make the catch. And now the Buffalo Bills on the verge of winning. They're fifth in their last six games, sixth of their last seven. And after starting the season four and one, New England will now have lost four of their last five games and look to be in a very tough spot in the AFC East. New England what they have to do now this was a tough game for them to win today but I think it's a must that they go home they got to beat Miami on Monday night and they're going to have to beat this Buffalo team at home too. the next two games is going to be their season I think this will not back in New England quell any of the comments about Pete Carroll's job as head coach hey look they came out today they played with courage they played hard they they fought they gave themselves a chance to win and that Tough circumstances. I think that's all you could ask of the New England Patriots today. Buffalo, a 13 to 10 winner. And of course, this guy, Doug Flutie, is, you know, it's got to be a sweet victory for him, beating the team in his, his hometown, didn't get a chance to really succeed with the New England Patriots. He's showing everybody he is a starting, good, solid NFL quarterback. These teams will meet again in New England November 29th. For Phil Sims and Armin Kate, and I'm Greg Gumbel. That's all from Buffalo. Once again, the final score, the Bills 13 and the Patriots 10.